Fort Sill, Oklahoma is the training base for Army Air Defense soldiers. One of the main weapon systems being trained on here is the Patriot Missile, which is one of the world's most advanced missile systems able to engage multiple air threats, such as cruise missiles and aircraft. It's a place where an 18-year-old soldier can be put in charge of a multi-million dollar weapon system that's protecting the lives of hundreds of thousands of people at one time. Now, I can't think of a greater impact that a young soldier could have on the world and the Army as a whole. The two main military career fields that operate this system are 14 Tango Patriot Launching Station Enhanced Operator Maintainers and the 14 Echo Fire Control Enhanced Operator Maintainers. These career fields both require extensive technical and hands-on knowledge to operate and maintain. So every block of instruction begins in the classroom and sometimes it's five minutes in there telling what they're about to do, sometimes it's several days. And then after they've done the theoretical conference and they come out and they actually apply that hands-on. The most challenging part for them is coming from various walks of life where they maybe have never dealt with any kind of technical information, mm -hmm. dealing with technical manuals and uh, a lot of military specific jargon. They, they show up not knowing how to even speak our language and then they leave not how to talk to talk. As a culminating event for their training, trainees will complete a three-day capstone field training exercise, which forces them to exercise everything they've learned from basic training all the way through their advanced technical schooling. How much ammo would have you, you guesstimate you would have expended at that point in time trying to keep the heads down? Here, these air defense soldiers are refreshing their knowledge of basic infantry skills and tactics during day one of their capstone. So this is important getting back to the Army's overall mission with uh, land combat power. Uh, anyone that watches the news today knows that the, the wars are changing and so we have to ensure that the soldiers are proficient at basic skills to survive on the battlefield. Uh, and so we get after those skills out here in addition to what they are uh, needing to be successful with their defense soldiers. Receiving 20 weeks of job specific technical training for the 14 Echoes and 7 weeks for the 14 Tangos, it's important to reaffirm these basic combat skills to ensure soldiers have a properly balanced knowledge base upon graduation. During day two of their capstone, they put those months of schooling to practical use as they simulate rapid movement and emplacement of the system needed to operate the Patriot missile. These hands-on drills help them build solid muscle memory to complement their technical knowledge. Graduating soon after their capstone, air defense soldiers will leave this school with the basic skills needed to be fully rounded soldiers. Our course life was pretty great. We're on week 18 and we've done great things. We're learning great things. It's super hot out, <laughs> but um, yeah, we've been having fun. We're getting taken care of and I'm excited to graduate and get on our units. I'm Daniel Malta, Fort Sill Public Affairs.